Hey everybody, my name is Gadamar. Welcome back for another view of uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. We're going to continue the series right here, boys. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, just go straight into it. We spawned in the uh, in this little area we haven't uncovered before. But uh, we're about to uh, do this thing. Look at this flower really quick. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? It really does. Anyways. Let me just go ahead and uh, travel to where we're supposed to go right here. I'm going to take my speeder real quick. Right now there's no, well, I was about to say there's no enemies, but apparently there are. They were just not spawned yet. We just got to go in there. That's it, right here. Okay, so we got to, I guess we probably have to defeat these dudes. I'm going to go ahead and gotcha. do that. There we go. Let's just defeat these dudes really quick if uh, that's what we have to do. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, that's the terminal right here, so that's what we're supposed to use. Alright then. Yeah, securing the line. I gather you felt that. If these quakes continue, none of us may escape intact. Uh, we can't have that. Just focus on the job. I expect Hazard pay for this. My fee doesn't cover environmental damage. Make sure to tell that to Darth Mar. Eight years, Ministry of Logistics. I know how to move around cash. No games. Solida Hesk and her corporation hold the secrets of Isotope 5. She is currently at her resort, hosting three hot clan lords. Manju is a spice trafficker and... Kavisho is a negotiator and advocate for the cartel. And Prodoranya runs an industrial move. Hesk has installed substantial automated security. And each hut also has a cadre of bodyguards. Resistance is inevitable that's why i'm here handling resistance is the only reason i came to macab i'm prepared i do not doubt your abilities the resort is built on a self-contained mesa isolate the mesa and neither reinforcements nor fleeing witnesses will pose a problem there are only a handful of landing pads around the resort so i'd suggest destroying the pads and the shuttles however the hut's bodyguards are garrisoned at the landing pads as well to cut off the resort, you will need to pass through them. The enemy will not escape. I may want to uh, to take captives. What about communications? There we go. The enemy will still be able to call for help, even if we cut off reinforcements. We can't hide the attack altogether. We can only delay word from spreading and disguise our objective. I will monitor your position and update you as I can. May the force grant you strength. Whatever you say, dude. All right, so reach. Manju the hut's landing pad? Holy, okay. So the pad landing pad is not far away actually. Man, this planet Macab is one thing that I like about it is uh you don't have to travel too far. I'm probably gonna have yeah. I think I can evade these guys. I don't necessarily need to attack them. If the game can stop glitching for two seconds. Or uh, or lagging I should say. Yeah, I think I oh, okay, well, if they're all gonna start attacking me though I mean I don't have a choice but to attack these guys because uh, it's um it's a restricted zone so I I can't go in there while I'm bad so I guess I have no choice here let me just go ahead and uh, deal with this shit good lord uh, I'm gonna do that equip that so I can do a little bit more damage here get the fuck out of here man leave me alone this is your problem what, uh, what I ever do to you? Security? Alright, you know what? Fuck this, let's go. You wanna go? You wanna go, huh? Let's go, we got that, and he's dead. Alright, any more of you jackasses who wanna fight me? No? Alright, we're good then. Let's go, boys. We got this group phase we gotta enter. Let's go ahead and do that. We're definitely gonna have to fight a lot of them right now, so... Let's just do that right here. Alright, here goes the first one. Uh, we gotta get onto that platform. We're definitely gonna have to fight these guys. So, let's just go ahead and do what we are supposed to do here. Let's go. That attack is so much more powerful when you have multiple enemies around you. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it's made like that. Which is pretty interesting. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's attack all these fools, boys. I think this video is all about get, uh, doing that, I guess. That's all we're gonna do, really. Is attack a bunch of fools. 
There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use my AOE right here. Does a lot of damage. Uh, no matter what, I'm uh, is front of me. And my gun is not like I kind of disappointing in the uh, the damage the gun does compared to like this right here, where it's just only using the flame. I, I guess it counts as the gun, but I'm not sure, boys. I feel like it's a it's a shame, really. Anyways, plenty explosives right here. We got about uh, three different areas just like this to do. Just planting a bunch of explosives like this. So uh, we're going to have to... I might have to transition from place to place. I'm not sure, boys. Oh, shit. Game. Okay. Game's having a hard time right now. Let me, let me just see you uh, once I'm on the other landing pad. All right. Here we go, boys. Second landing pad right here. Let's go ahead and do our thing. Just gonna attack these guys. We got uh, too many bosses. I'm not sure what the third landing pack is gonna be though. If I remember properly, uh, this uh, little mission in particular, I think there's only two mini bosses like this and the other one is like a robot or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not too sure how it's gonna go, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and do my AOE right here. And uh, Toyo and Wado just deal with him. We got the uh, explosives planted here. There we go. I'm just gonna collect the coins really quick. I think that's the only one that's left, right? Because we've got this one, we got this one, and I think that's uh, the, the, just the third one. I don't think there's more than three of them that we have to gather, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Give me another second, boys, to transition until I'm there on the landing pad. All right, here we go, boys. As he explained, they're pretty powerful, but not power enough, uh, powerful enough to uh, defeat me. I mean, they're nothing. Let me just go ahead and use my carbonite on him. There we go. It's pretty much done with, buddy. He's done. There we go. Here he does. Here he goes. And there's the third explosive planted uh, right now. There we go. Be let's fight these dudes right here, these little droids. It's, uh, that's fine by me. I really don't care. I gotta go to that estate, so I don't have a choice really but to face uh, these little droids right here. Let's go. Yeah, I figured out how to use this attack properly now. Now that I know how to probably use it, I mean, it's much more... It's much more easier to just uh, defeat enemies and stuff. After all, right? It took me an entire storyline of the main story to figure it out and uh, another expansion with that. But, uh, hey. As long as you eventually uh, know what you're doing, it's all good. All right, I think we're gonna go, we gotta get past these guards right here. There's, a lot, there's gonna be a lot of them. Obviously, these expansions are made for that. It's not as bad as it is, really. As long as it's not a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of flashpoints. The flashpoints are the ones that are really ridiculously uh, long to do and uh, drawn out and super tough. So. These are the ones I don't like to do, obviously. Some of the husk should be around somewhere. Awesome. Flavors are dead. The Archon reviewed my security himself, and if you have a problem, well, why don't you slither back and let me handle it? The Republic's not a fan of bounty hunters these days, and you're not with the husk. Don't tell me the Empire wants Makeb too now. I wouldn't be so flippant. Let's keep this civilized. Tell me what I want. I wouldn't be so flippant. Consider your position, Mistress Hesk. Your security is gone, your huts are displeased, and I'm your only hope for survival. I suggest you cooperate and tell me everything you know about Isotope 5. Isotope 5? Right. Yes, my company found it, mined it for our hut investors. Kept it a secret by their request. Worst deal we ever made. It's because of the huts that we're going to lose Makeb. What does it? Uh, what does that mean? You're still a hut ally. But betrayal was always a bad deal. You sold out your whole world to a cartel of criminals. How did you expect it to end? You're not understanding. I'm not being melodramatic. We are literally losing the planet. Makeb only has a few weeks left before the planetary core rips apart. That's what happens when you extract isotope 5. That's rough. Holy. No more Makeb, no more isotope, and no more fancy resort or corporation. 
So yes, I'll need hut allies once my planet is gone. Macab is destroying itself. Who is you you discussing weasel? Macab is destroying itself. How could Isotope 5 cause that much damage? What exactly is going to happen? Apparently it regulates the planet's gravitational and electromagnetic field. The ground quakes and storms are just the start. Nothing will survive. Go ahead, watch my hands. I'm not triggering any alarm. There. I've granted access to my corporate systems. Checking. We're in. I have information, money and influence, and I'm as happy to work with you as with the huts. Just help me survive. She acts unforgivably. She's not going to betray us today. And if anyone can mislead the huts about our presence, it's her. She's us to die? I want her as an ally. I want her as an ally, man. My operation, my decision. Consider this a stay of execution, Hask. Thank you. I'll keep funneling my resources to you and keep an ear out for anything new. In the meantime, what should I tell the huts? Tell her whatever you want. Blame it on the war, say the Empire is desperate. I really don't care, to be honest. You want to prove you're useful? Figure it out. I have bigger things to worry about. Delegation. I like it. I'll check her corporate data and wait for you at the gravity hook. We can chat about the end of the world. It's like the world is falling apart, boys. God damn, the planet is about to destroy itself. That's crazy. Alright, so report to... To Katanar, which I don't know where she is. Which one is that? Uh, return to uh, the Gravity Hook 7 Dock Ring. Alright. Uh, I think I know where this is. So the 7. Gravity. Oh yeah. So this is the one. Gravity Hook 7. Alright. Alright, we're in. Go ahead and talk to these. Uh, to my partners really quick. And tell them. Or discuss with them about the whole planet that's destroying itself thing. That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? What are we supposed to do now? Got to have topographic scans, satellite imagery, something. Hunter. Right, welcome back. We found the isotope 5's location in Hesk's files. The bad news? Getting to it is a problem. The good news? Makeb won't explode for weeks, so why worry? We should focus on the planet. Where's the isotope? Tell me the location of the stockpile. I want to move as soon as possible. The huts are keeping the isotope at Stronghold 1. It's a massive vault built by the government for Makeb's treasury. One entrance, unbreachable wall, six layers of security. Six, plus a prototype being assembled by the huts. Some kind of isotope 5 powered droid in the early stages. We're going to need time to plan. Tell me about the, uh, don't let, then let's make the plan. If Stronghold 1 is where the isotope is held, then how do we get inside without drawing the hut's attention? What about a distraction? There's a message we intercepted. Interstellar regulator command to the Archon. The civilians are getting restless. I had to stop a riot today. And it'll get worse if the Republic's involved. We're moving the hover tanks into settlements. That'll keep them locked down. And we'll level city blocks if we have to. Wouldn't take much to start a revolt. Worldwide rebellion and the huts won't have the manpower to keep us from the isotope. We need to unleash the people. If the mercenaries are keeping the civilians in line, it's the mercenaries we need to target. That transmission mentioned hover tanks. Hover tanks are the vanguard of the mercenary army. Armored and powerful. If you destroy them, the people could rally. What about propaganda? Couldn't we send a message? Incite them somehow? Lie to them, confuse them. Macab is dying. Use the truth. I don't know. Uh, nah, fuck it. Just tell them the truth, whatever. Spread the word that hut mining operations have doomed the planet. The truth should be enough. As you wish. I'll leak the files. We'll need to uh, lie to them right here. If you can destroy the hover tanks, I'll keep you up to date on the status of the revolution. You go to war against the huts today. It will be an honor to observe. Man, why do I... Why do I have to go against the huts? Why can't I just work with them? Like, honestly, I'm a bounty hunter after all. Why am I, sp why am I going after them? Oh, okay. You know what? Let's not even ask that question, boys. 
Man. They should have had something where... Since you're a bounty hunter, you can actually work with the Uts, right? You can double cross whoever wants to work. It should have been the Uts that wanted to you to work for them or something like that, right? You're a bounty hunter. You work for the Uts, not for the Imperials or... Like, it makes kind of sense, doesn't it? I don't know, boys. I feel like uh, some like? stuff sometimes... It's a bit uh, unfortunate, really, that they uh, don't, f they didn't think about that uh, Bioware, and they were making the, 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 the thing. So, as you can see, there's multiple places we haven't done yet. Uh, we did that. We did this old place in this uh, first mission right here. So second mission. There's usually four or five missions to a planet. I'm guessing, uh, so I'm guessing we're kind of in the middle or still at the beginning of it. I'm not sure. We got right here some sort of district right here we gotta take uh, care of. There's a bunch of droids as all uh, as well. Destroy the missionary over tanks. Is that one of them? Nope, that's just a regulated droid. Oh, is that it? That's one of them. There we go. Yeah, that's one of them, boys. Alright, so let me just go ahead and do this right here. Yo, that's a lot. They've got a lot of dam uh, of health. What the fuck? Okay, not that much of health. It's just I have to be pretty close to do any damage whatsoever. But that's crazy. The fact that they have tanks and stuff. Yo, the huts are really well guarded right here. They were prepared for war in here. What the fuck? Let's go. Alright, let me just do that really quick. And uh, we should be good. There we go. There's one of them. We got uh, basically have to find two other oh, over tanks like these, which shouldn't be too hard to uh, to find. There we go. There's another one right here. Oh, well, there we go, boys. I'm actually on top of it. Oh, that's crazy. All right, that's perfect actually. The fact that I'm on top of it, I can do more damage and stuff. Let me just go ahead and do this. My God, why can you not do that? All right, we're good. Let's go. Let's attack them. Okay. I can't uh, throw my grenades and stuff. What the fuck? Alright. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Boy, let's go. We kind of... We have to finish it. There's one right here, I believe. No, that's just a... Uh, a regular thing. I gotta find my... Uh, my third over tank, boys. Try to find it really quick. Uh, there's gotta be one right... Uh, right here. It just spawned back. Alright. That's perfect. Okay. Just okay, never mind. Fuck, I can't I can't even go on to it. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. You know what? Let me just do something really quick. This game is glitching out like crazy out now. Now it's good, huh? Because now it attacks me first. Oh my god, I swear. Okay. Let's go boys. I don't wanna use my aerobics for this bullshit of a tank. I really don't, so we gotta do what we have to do right here. Let's go. What the fuck is wrong? No, you don't. Let's go, man. We gotta finish it. I don't wanna waste my time fighting a bunch of uh, random tanks and stuff. There we go. Here it goes. And we actually have all leveled up, which is really good. Really good. Really nice. Just uh, use the cash really quick. Let me just see. So what did we get this time around? Please, something good. Okay, that's uh, 270. It's not good. That's not good at all. I don't need that. Fuck. That is exactly not something I, I needed. Well, that's too bad. Alright, so what's now? Secure a holo terminal? Alright, there's got to be a holo terminal somewhere near here. It's telling me there's one, so... Um, let me see really quick. Oh, this right here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Filled all the terminal. The hover tanks have been destroyed, and the mercenaries have been routed. We have observed the enemy's flight. Riots have begun across the planet. The huts just authorized the execution of any civilians not carrying ID. The mercenaries are demanding a raise. Damn. Join up. Lord Sitharat should come with me next time. Staying in the gravity hook means he misses all the action. We will fight together on the battlefield soon enough. For now, the honor is mine to watch you. There is something else. Some of the civilian leadership seems reluctant to take this opportunity to strike. We think they're laying low and regrouping. 
But if we're going to steal the Isotope 5, we need the civilian leaders organizing a full-on revolt. If I set up a meet, can you push them? Not my usual. Uh, how can they be reluctant? Not my usual, but whatever, it's fine. Diplomacy isn't my specialty, but I can try to make a revolutionary see the light. There's a man named Polis Avesta. He's got influence with the rebels. He's holed up at an old plantation. You've already got half the planet riled up. Win over Avesta, and he'll make sure everyone's pointing the right way. Alrighty then. Let's go do that. Let's go find out uh, what he can do for us. Where is he exactly? He's not that far away. Really not that far away. So I want to prevent myself from having to fight these uh, little dudes that were right here. So, okay. Yeah, we got just... Okay. Fuck, man. They're everywhere. I saw him at the last minute. I saw the red, uh, the red name at the last minute right there. I was almost bad, boys. Let's go. We got to travel right here. I don't no need to transition whatsoever. This mi this planet is uh, pretty uh, small, so it makes for the the traveling uh, time pretty good. The traveling time is uh, really good. That's what I'm trying to say. So, all right, I'm gonna have to fight these droids right here. What the fuck is going on? There we go. Spread the wrong shit, boys, at the last second. There we go. Just gonna use this. So I can do more damage uh, because it's basically an AOE. Let's go. We're good here. Just take out these droids. I'm actually gonna point at him. There we go. I think it. I think it worked. Let's go. Got a bunch of damage to do right here, and there he goes. Okay. Let's uh, go talk to Mr. Avesta right here. We could take care of his droids. We're working with you, buddy, on this one. One move. What are you going to do against me? Listen to their voices. They cannot defeat you, but they stand defiant. I need to talk to your leader. It's okay. I surrender. We're wasting time. You're pathetic. Where is your leader? I am Paulus Avesta. You didn't have to do that. I received your message. You freed the settlements, and I'm grateful. But why would the Empire get involved at all? My guess is the odds. Uh, my cap people deserve better. Our reasons don't affect you. Our reasons don't affect you. All right. You don't it's need our to own. know why the Empire is interested in Macab. We're here, and nothing we do will harm the planet or its citizens. That's a lot to claim. We've given you an opportunity to fight back. You need to take it and organize a planet-wide attack. And what if we say no? Not my problem. I don't care what you say. I don't call the shots. Fair enough. But I'll need to talk to the others. I can't make this decision for the whole planet. I think that's a good sign. Once Polis is on board, get out and I can tip off the regulator mercenaries. Let them know Polis's attack is coming. Maximize the blood and fury. You want to play both sides? Really? Tipping off the regulators was not part of the plan. We don't the huts to win, but we need to fight out as long as possible. I thought you'd like it. These rebels battle for their people against unthinkable odds. They deserve our admiration. It's done. Within 12 hours, we'll coordinate raids on the regulator bases and hut palaces. But we're still outmatched. Stay and help us plan. Do, I, do you think I have time I to have help time. you out? Do I tell the regulator? Uh, carefully. Do I tell the raiders? Try to keep casualties low. Uh, we're not getting involved. No, we're not getting involved. F fuck this. Let the rebels and the mercenaries fight their own battles from here on out. We'll await you at the gravity hub. Ain't nobody care about these rebels anyways. They're just here for distraction. There's no reason why we should help a any side whatsoever. Alright, here we go, boys. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Keita again. And see what our next move is actually going to be now. That uh, we've got the distraction going on. My team say they're outgunned. Tell the huts to get us aerial support or the regulators walk. The huts took our planet from us. Now we take it back. Pakamalamaku, a perge kikama. Sir, we're guessing a few hours before the fighting settles. That's our window to break into Stronghold 1 
and steal the isotope 5. Brief me on your plan, who's winning the battle, unless the planet blows. Well, unless the planet blows, actually. If McCab's core explodes first, the fighting and our break-in won't matter. We've got a specialist now. He's watching the geostability matrix, so we'll have some warning. Stronghold 1. Right. The vault facility is built into a volcanic mesa with a single entrance above the magma. It's also got sensors, alarms, enough to catch any thief who gets inside. I'm no thief. Uh, I'm no thief, man. I'm just a bounty hunter. Uh, we need the security disabled. The volcano seems excessive. Who cares? Who cares? Once we're in, it will be too late to stop us. The hut's forces are already occupied. Lockdown is still a problem. Can't have them trapping you inside. But our science consultant has an answer. Niga manik nagi oya, makini argam kim mamik wawak. Beraka karam kara, enini amak ora mag yang nigik. Mem amgap kugap en kramanik umka kiga mayamak. What would I face inside? You're an imperial scientist. Let's bury the enemy then. A few tons of rubble should soften the opposition. Then I move in for the kill. My squad will follow your initial insertion to cover your escape route. Once inside, expect heavy resistance. Regulator mercenaries and automated security, yes. But also specialists loyal to the Hut cartel. There's also the Hut's prototype Isotope 5 droid. Assuming it's online, which we probably should. Still trying to find its weak points, but we're out of time. Get me intel on a droid. Yes, that'll be interesting. How we still? How do we steal it? Let's assume none of this proves a problem. How do I move the isotope five stockpile? We estimate the huts have mined about a hundred kilos of isotope five. You'll be able to move it by hand with Sitharat's help. I think that's everything. We're at your service. G get my payment ready. Once the isotope five is off world, transfer the credits to my account. Everything else I can handle myself. Take care of the Empire. We'll take care of you. Nodrin, send that data on where to plant the explosives. Sitharat, get your team ready. All hands, let's go. Alrighty then. Let's, on, uh, let's go on, boys. I'm just gonna actually... Alright, so let me just see. N anything, really. These two don't really matter anyway, so... Alright, we're good. Uh, next stop is going to be to do that thing right here. Plan the charges on the southern cave. But uh, first, we're going to end the video right here. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one, boys. Uh, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what the kind of game we want to see next, right? I'm probably going to finish uh, eventually Dragon Ball way before this game for sure. Because there's a lot of expansion for this game. But uh, anyways, let me know what kind of game. I was thinking about maybe Ori. But if you guys have any new games incoming uh, right now, you can let me know. So uh, keep it easy.